Dear doctors, our story is one that I was debating on sharing, but when it is a life or death situation, what do we have to lose? My father will be 54 at the end of February. He started smoking when I was 16 years old. I tried to quit smoking cold turkey, patches, Nicorette, hypnotism, just working out, but it seems like I've always gone back. He did have open heart surgery and two lung surgeries, and these were birth defects. We all thought that my dad was going to quit smoking when he had his open heart surgery. Just thinking back to how scared he was and terrified, we didn't even think smoking again was going to be an option. When he says he's going to quit, I always hope that he will, but we're just kind of used to him not being able to. It's embarrassing to go through the medical problems that I have and still smoke. To me, it makes me feel like, does he not love us enough to quit? My biggest worry is that he's going to leave me before his time. And it's not just me, it's his girls. I really don't think about not being here for grandkids. and. Um... I honestly, I can't picture him not being there for, you know, weddings or babies being born. I, I don't even want to think about it. That's a really emotional topic. I love my dad very much, and I just want him to be around for a long time. Just can't give up smoking. This is for Lisa. No. This is, this is not, so these, the the, these are all the e-products, e-cigarette, e-pipe, and e-cigar. What happens with these that you actually... Oh, you actually take a puff on it? You're, you, it creates yeah. vapor that has nicotine in it instead of smoke. And it's a smoke that contains tar and the other, what is there, 20 other carcinogens that we know are in cigarettes. And all, for that matter, all... <laughs> I just always wanted to be a detective, you know, like Sears. Mm. <laughs> I wonder who detective Sears? I'm going to solve the crime. Well, why so this that, is going to be more like one of these nicotine replacement oil fixation. Patches. Yeah. You are putting something in your mouth, and number two, you're holding on to something. So for some people, especially early on, this may be a good way to start.